very sad and tragic situation. Christy, everybody watching today, we got the news that this happened yesterday, but basically a 10-year-old boy was struck in a hit-and-run incident in Midland, Texas, right down the street from my house, and it's very sad to say the least, y'all. He ended up passing away. Christy, what do you think about it when you heard this? I'm going to go ahead and post the info, and we're going to uh, break this completely down. I went by there. I took pictures. The city of Midland has some explaining to do. Go ahead, sis. Well, I saw it. I saw that you had your pictures up, and then I saw that other people – like that really aren't even really that associated with us were posting pictures of this that had happened in in, in Midland, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure that it was Midland. And so I started getting all these messages and people going, did this really happen in Midland? And I was like, I didn't want to give any false information. I was like, I know it happened somewhere close to Nino because he got pictures, but this man, um, so the little boy was trying to cross the road after school at Ide Idea Travis, I-D-E-A Travis. It used to be called Travis Elementary, but then mm -hmm. I guess it got bought out by Idea. It stands for something, but uh, yeah, it was called Travis in the South Side. Now it's called Idea. Go ahead. Yeah, and so um, he hit the little boy and... He it was a hit and run. He he didn't stop, didn't do anything. Little boy was you know of course rushed to the hospital and all of that, um, but the so he was charged. Okay, he's been here five times illegally, and he's on an ice hold right now. Nino, um, he has used all kinds of different names from Juan to Rogelio, 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 um, and. Um, the thing is, is that after, so they've upped his charges since the little boy died. Yeah. Um, it's now, it's now hit and run that caused death. Yeah, I got it right here. It says Midland County Sheriff David Kreiner has confirmed to CBS 7 that after speaking with Immigration and Customs Enforcement or ICE, Rogelio Ortiz Olivas, who uses the name Juan Ortiz Perez, is on an immigration detainer. O Ortiz Olivas was first sent back to Mexico on a voluntary removal then was deported five separate times following that. Ortiz was confirmed by fingerprints taken during his first removal. The driver struck the child while the child was trying to cross the road after school at Idea Travis. So sad for that child and, and his family. And my point is this, you know, he shouldn't have been here in the first place. And this is not, you know, a issue about, you know, black, brown or, or you know what I'm saying? Uh, right, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong without getting political, y'all. If this man was never here, he wouldn't he wouldn't have done this. As simple as that. Five times. Yep. And yep. my wife even said if he gets goes into prison and, or gets, you know, released back into Mexico, he's probably going to come back again. And, and you know what's crazy? I went right down the road. And they, they started putting, uh, there's a, a GoFundMe, they raised 7000 within a couple hours, y'all. Midland, you know, there's some uh, good-hearted people in my city. But I went over there, y'all. I took this picture, and they've already put uh, flowers, little teddy bears. It's sad. Me and my daughter got there, my wife. And there's even, uh, right there, you can see by that little panda, there's a little, uh, there's little papers. Somebody wrote him a little letter. And um, it was very sad, y'all. I went to the scene, and I saw it. I took pictures. Uh, a little uh, boy of the age of 10, AJ. And I'll go ahead and go to the comments, y'all. This right here shows the pictures. I went ahead and took uh, a couple. And let me get them here lined up. Here's the apartment complex. Go ahead, sis, while I, while I fix this uh I want to say, so actually, actually, Nino, he's been removed six times. So he was sent back to Mexico on a voluntary removal then was deported five separate times following that um and they confirmed that by finger fingerprints that were taken during his first removal wow it, you know i post i made a comment on one of your posts that he it, he should have never been one here one time illegally and that's just the way that i feel and it's kind of like you said unfortunately that if he wouldn't have been here and and he would wouldn't have been illegal then this little boy wouldn't have been hit and it's sad it is so sad for that family yeah i don't have the picture here posted they've already put it you know on the internet y'all um uh, that's why i went ahead and i haven't i haven't posted the actual picture on the internet but i finally shared the gofundme which they've already posted the info but here's a picture of the apartments back there they've been back there they've been here for years okay 
There's no crosswalks. There's no lights. This is a heavy oil field tra traffic uh, section, ladies and gentlemen, in my city, right down the road from where I live. And there's no, there's nothing F from this hotel or apartment complex to the Travis, which is not even a half a mile away. There's no uh, crossing for children or uh, for anything. And again, they want to build schools, soccer complexes, uh, hotels, taxpayer funded hotels and schools. But what about the, the children? They're not even uh, protecting the children, y'all. So this scene right here, this is where the apartments, I believe he probably lived back there, I believe, because there's th two different sets. And then across the street is uh, a main, the, the, road, the road, La Mesa Road. And then across the street is the school. And I'm going to uh, show some more pictures. But again, y'all, it's just a sad situation. And we're going to hold Midland County, uh, 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 you know, um, you know, responsible because we because a lot of people in the comments are saying, like I said, there is no uh you know, crosswalks is, and you would think there will be one. Go ahead. There should be, there should be sidewalks and crosswalks within so much of a distance of a school, no matter where you are. I mean, that's just, it's sad. And like I've told you, you know, they want to, you've talked to me about, they want to build these new, like, what was it? A sports arena mm -hmm. or a, a sports complex and, yeah. and all of this stuff. You want to build these new schools, but you can't even keep the students that you have. Safe. safe. That's exactly what my yeah. wife said. Same thing, sis. Yeah. Uh, here's yeah. a road. You know, it's an oil field road. They're, they're coming from that way, that way, this way, 45 miles an hour, y'all. Just heavy traffic. That's I-20 back there. And you come towards Midland and it's just coming off the interstate and there's no kind of, a uh, you know, protection. Let me go to the other picture, y'all. This is the first picture that I had seen. You know, they started off with these little, uh, you know, toys and a little bear. And then Midland then it ended up like this, you know. And then I'm going to show one more picture of uh, somebody wrote, somebody said that they were crossed. They saw a kid crossing that day when, I guess when the accident happened, um, uh, you really can't see the picture there, but they said that they, they had seen it and they had made the remark that there's no, uh, they made the remark a couple weeks ago. Someone says this was taken yesterday as a crime scene was working. Kids were still walking home. We have to hold MISD in the city of Midland accountable for not keeping kids in the South side safe. So many streets with no sidewalks and they want to build soccer tournament arenas, not to mention the traffic hell they have going on. Advocate, please call them out. We can't have any more children die. They can't keep it, keep ignoring us. So trust me, we are going to call them out and we're not going to play these games. And, you know, a lot of the things that that they originally had posted, they've kind of retracted. So he was 50 years old, not 41, as reported. Okay. And, um, yeah, he is currently incarcerated. It says, I know, I know Dan. I know Dan's not here, but I had commented the same thing eight weeks ago. When will they do something? How many kids have to get hit for them to do something? When the first girl got hit, they should have done something. So someone commenting that a couple of months back, they said this. And then here's another picture. I mean, it's, they're getting exposed, y'all. The advocate page <laughs> is exposing them. Uh, stop signing they the freshman. See, look, they're saying that, look, Dan Corrales. This is his post, y'all. You really can't see it the way I got it cropped out. But he says, stop for our children. New four-way stop sign at Midland Freshman. That's right down the road. Uh, thank you to t Tammy Shelton and others. They called for asking for a four-way stop at the uh, Hicks Street, uh, Seymour, Midland County, Midland Freshman. So there's, you know, Dan Corrales, y'all, you know, helping the city. So I even said, who's the, the councilman in this district? And we're going to find out, y'all, in Monday. We're going to be talking our stuff to the city of Midland. So anyways, there's that info. The post has gone viral. Many are saying that, you know, uh, Prayers, thoughts, you know, all this kind of stuff. And here's the actual GoFundMe. We, GoFundMe, we posted it. Uh, I got to be careful with the GoFundMe, y'all. This is uh, a little AJ, Alex Wise Jr. Uh, we got to be careful with the GoFundMe because I don't always trust GoFundMe's because I, I believe that people can get ripped off. But this is the mm -hmm. child right here. And, oh, man, $15,000. Sis, that, that was within, that was within uh, you know, hours. Not even probably six hours. They've already raised $15,000. Well, I hope I hope that they can give him. Uh, I don't know. Nine hours maybe, ago. I'm sorry. Uh, some kind of memorial there for him, permanent memorial. It's just a sad situation, and I know the family is probably grateful for the GoFundMe, but I cannot imagine the loss of, or of a, a ten child. Year, a ten, sis, a ten-year-old. I know. Killed I know. by an illegal alien. Yep, He's been deported it, six times. Yep. One time voluntarily, one time, the, all the rest of them um, involuntarily. And I told my and wife, coming back. and I told my wife, my kid, I said, "This is one of us." Yep. You know, this kid was probably born in Midland, Southside Midland. I'm from Southside Midland, baby. I love my my community, and it's like my wife said. Sometimes, you know, she didn't say it like this, but I already know the, the saying from the oil field. Sometimes, 
uh, safety codes and safety issues are brought up and written in blood. You know, yeah. sometimes somebody has, to, I hate to say like this, some, sometimes people pass and the, the reason uh, safety, you know, standards get imposed is due to somebody's death. Yeah. I was sad about um, this. Sis. We were very sad and the whole community is sh- shook in. I've already heard seen posts of people talking about doing rallies and, and uh, you know, doing benefits. You know, I told my wife, I said, I, I think what we need to do, we need to go protest down at City Hall and tell them what the hell, why ain't they protecting our children in the South Side? But my wife said, you know, some people, they just want to rather do stuff that doesn't get them hated. You know, if I go do a rally downtown, we'll see who's going to go join me on, you know, holding the foot to the fire of these uh, city, these city people that work for us, you know, I mean, let's be, let's be honest. Let's be honest, y'all. When you go and, and become, you know, a target, when you go, you know, protest and lift your voice, you are going to be uh, hated, known, marked, maybe targeted. So, again, y'all, I think uh, the city of Midland needs to be held accountable for not protecting this child. And again, we're going to hold, you know, this illegal accountable for what he was doing. He was probably on the phone. Let's be honest. A lot of people just drive on their phone. But at the same time, he should have done his due diligence to make sure he's paying attention to what he's what's going on. But at the same time as well, Midland County should have had a crosswalk or a light there, there, there. And I saw somebody saying it's sad that people let their kids walk home at 10 years old. But my wife said some people are not helicopter parents. But I'm going to be honest. I'm a helicopter parent, especially in 2024. You can't trust nobody. You can't trust a family member. You can't trust a friend. You can't trust nobody. So my kids are in my house, and I'm glad they're in the room. They're with my wife. We're eating dinner. Hallelujah. It's beautiful. But, you know, if someone lets their child walk, it should, should be a country where you should be able to allow your kids to walk home from school. You know, it shouldn't be that uh, life or death uh, situation on, on, on a Thursday. In Florida, Nino, um, if you live less than a mile from the bus stop, your child has to either walk which to whatever is closer to the closest bus stop, which could be close to a mile away or to the school in the city that I live in. My son had to, his school starts at 7.05 every morning. He would have to get out and walk down these dark, I mean, it's a subdivision, but would have to walk down these dark roads. And, you know, we, we've got bears and gators and, and snakes wow. and lots of like deadly stuff here besides illegal aliens. And, um, and, you know, I mean, you talk about scared. I'd get up and, and drive him most mornings to the bus stop when it, before he got his license. Because, you know, it, like you said, there's just you you always want to protect your child. And I'm sure that, you know, a 10 year old should be able to walk you know, home from school with with nothing happening. But you have to have proper safety procedures in place. And Midland failed him. Great point, sis. Midland failed him. They want to build uh, soccer arenas and hotels and and all kinds of uh, facil- facilities. But what about the children in a simple crosswalk? You know, um, and, and to be honest, y'all, to, to you know, play, I don't say devil's advocate, but, you know, Christy, you said that you, you saw something in this man's eyes. What did you see, sis? To me, it looked like, like a, a, a like he was defeated. And, you know, I I did say this. I don't believe that every single person that crosses the border comes here with the intent to do bad. Um, But I do believe that we have are supposed to let me say supposed to because our administration is not doing this. We are supposed to have safeguards in place that these people that come over here are vetted, that we know who they are. We know why they're entering, you know, the the correct things. And I saw a look of defeat in his eyes. But at the same time, as I told you, I don't feel remorse for him. I mean, it probably was an accident. And and that's something that he will have to live with. But he also knew that he was doing an illegal activity. He was in the United States again for, I guess this would be the seventh time illegally. I mean, you know, you, it, it's about self, self accountability. It just, it, it is. And, and we don't know who, what is coming across that border, how many times they've come across their stories everywhere. There was a man, an illegal, um, citizen that killed an uber eats driver not too long ago and in, in florida and you know it's just 
we don't know who's coming across and we, we have to put those safeguards in place. And if we can't put those safeguards in place, at least put in safeguards to protect the children, put in the sidewalks, put in the crosswalks. We'll do, do whatever it takes, right? Basically, uh, what it, absolutely uh, j- to, to make sure on our end that we're doing something to be proactive. I just want to say this, y'all. I told my wife, too, I said, man, maybe he didn't mean to do it. Even if he hit the child and just freaked out and drove off, you know, I don't know if he did it like on purpose or he basically just messed up, you know, in, in his mind. He's like, what do I do? And he freaked out and left. Who knows what, what how he acted at that point, right, y'all? Again, no mercy, though, on this end, y'all. He should have been paying attention. He shouldn't even been here. And that's just not to even be political. I mean, it's the, the law is the law. And that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Simple yeah. fact is a, a young child lost their lives, their life. The mother is, is mourning. Uh, thank God for the people of Midland. It's already 15000 raised for the fu- the funeral and expenses. I, I believe my wife says it's about 10000 to bury uh, somebody. But it's sad to see. And it's a sad situation. Go ahead, sis. Final words. I just, I, you just really hit me with the whole hit and run thing. I don't think, even if I knew that, that I was an illegal or whatever, that I could leave this, I could leave somebody just laying on the side of the road. I, it just is incomprehensible to me. I don't, I don't know. I just, Shame on our administration for letting him over here for the seventh time. And, you know, shame on Midland for not having safety procedures in place for kids to walk safely to and from school. And we just have to do better as people. Man. Amen. And with that, y'all, we actually keep uh, little AJ's family in your thoughts and prayers. Um, Midland lost one of ours by someone that shouldn't even been here. It's as simple as that. And I see somebody comment on my post is saying, you don't know the full story. I don't <laughs> You don't right, need to know the full it's, story. It's right there in black and white. The man has a record for being here illegally. I don't know if this person was trying to put the blame on the child or what, but somebody commented on my thing. And it, I think it's probably somebody related to him. But uh, we're not going to sit here and uh, do for the person that hurts a child. Nope. I don't even care if it was an accident or not. You know what? You should have thought about that. Hector or Jorge, what's his name? Whatever his freaking name is. He, he has a lot of them. He Juan is one of them. Yeah. Juan, he should have thought about that before he crossed that border the, for the sixth, seventh time. If he yeah. wouldn't have been here in my country, he wouldn't have killed one of our citizens. And come Simple legally. As that. Come legally. Just Exactly. Just, we want people to come the right way. And that's all there is yeah. to it. This ain't to be political. It's just the honest truth. Yep. With that, y'all. Thank you for watching and our sincerest condolences to the family of AJ. If you need anything, let us know. We thank you. Please. God bless you in the name of Christ our Lord. Draw close to God. He will draw close to you. Um, the ultimate comforter uh, is the Holy Spirit. We ask that the Holy Spirit be with the family of AJ and for God to give them the peace that only he can give. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. We're out. <laughs>